Benjamin Franklin did invent that. Well, this is I hate being a woman. Imagine like you hire a show, okay? Okay. So, you hire a button to glue, and that's gonna be so hard. So, I invent a button clip. So, you put the clip, you put the clip behind the button, okay? Okay. So, so that um, uh, you can't just glue it, you just hang it in. That's what I was inventing. Benjamin Franklin did invent that. Benjamin Franklin would have made sense. I don't understand what you're saying. Okay. <laughs> oh, maybe, like, like pretend this is a shirt. So you hang it in, see? But why, so shirts then need hooks you would get a button hook and, no a button and a and a safety pin behind it so that you can hang it pretend this is my shoe okay okay then you do it this good idea it's really complicated Ben never invented that so i made it on mine Oh my god, Nana, be careful. Why? Because it's slippery. That branch fell too in the sky. Holy guacamole. Be good, girl. No, no scally wagon. Yeah? You were like 10. Buenos dias, mis amigos. Shimmy, 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 shimmy. Coming at you live from Nueva Yo. It's Betsy VN. Hey, GP! <laughs> oh, the past two nights have been so miserable. Me and Buddha haven't been able to sleep. Last night, Gunner, I woke Gunner up because he has very good hearing, and this is why we he sleeps with the sound machine. But accidentally, I dropped a toy, and the freaking toy went off. Propped up, I try to soothe him down, and then I left the room, and then moments later you hear him playing with the drum set. Oh, and then he also threw something at his sister, waking her up, and he's crying. So it wasn't until like maybe 1 45, 2 o'clock in the morning that me and her fell asleep. Kind of. I don't know, that's the last time I looked at the clock. Probably 2 30. I'm exhausted. Alright, today I'm doing some ab workout, so it's not kickboxing but I see that I'm losing weight like around my edges my edges in my here this part the love handles but this is still staying so I want to target that <clears throat> I want to target that area So I'm gonna go take a shower because that's what you do after some working out, oh, after you get your body pumped. So while I'm taking this shower, stay tuned because I have things you didn't see. I went to an event yesterday and you're, you're, you're gonna watch it right now, okay? First, let's put on some music. Yep, it is I, braving the storm. <laughs> hey, yo, Betsy, why are you out in the snow? Because I'm crazy, I'm loco. No, I don't seriously, this is a huge event I really wanted to come out to because if you guys didn't know, this month, the month of March, Women's History Month. I know, we get a month all to our help. So I'm heading to the New York Historical Society because they're throwing an event highlighting the women of history and the women from the NBC show, Timeless. 
Oh, okay. Well, this is it. Do you want to buy an umbrella? No. <laughs> there you go. Thank you. I'm gonna ask you so to take a picture of me. No, don't leave. Can you take a picture of me? I saw you take a picture. I was like, yeah. <laughs> I was like. All right, this is where I need to be. What's up, babe? As I was saying before, I was really interrupted by the weather. Thomas was an NBC show that aired, I think it was like in 2016. Lucy Preston, Homeland Security. You need to come with me. You've got a hell of a reputation. History, anthropology. Master Sergeant Wyatt Logan, Delta Force. 3.30 p.m. May 6, 1937. Oh, humanity. You're telling me that this guy actually went back in time, for real, to the Hindenburg. You need to go with them. I can't. I am black. There is literally no place in American history that'll be awesome for me. Lucy. Rufus, I'm a pilot. Kind of. Kind of? Have you been drinking? I didn't know I was gonna be working tonight, ma'am. Might wanna hold on. Wow. Have you seen this man? Well, yes, he was here. He's working as ground crew. He's gonna help bring down the Hindenburg. I think Flynn is trying to rewrite history. It could change the present in ways we can't possibly predict. And they canceled it. A couple days later, they decided to bring it back. And what the premise of the show is, is about history. But teaching you history in a really, really, really fun way. <laughs> Tell it to myself. <laughs> There's a time machine involved. The characters go back into history because there's somebody that wants to change history and they don't want that to happen. So you learn a lot about what happened in history with what I'm saying. And it's just a lot, a lot of fun. So, it premieres this Sunday, March 11th on NBC. Make sure you watch. We actually made Philadelphia, well. Philadelphia Story Dress for Lucy to wear in our Hollywood way in 1947. Right here? Oh, right in the front. Oh, yes, please. <laughs> the time machine was stolen by terrorists. That's not troubling. What if they've already planted agents in history? We've got work to do. Be with us. Be on the right side of history. Lucy, this is so much bigger than you and me. I've lost everything. You haven't lost me. We need to talk. Well, because one of my favorite things about the show is like humanizing the characters that like Lucy gets like I feel like oh, I want to like have a major spoiler right now because I want to tell you what I met yesterday. But, <laughs> but, like, no, even, no spoilers. When spoiler free zone. She said Hedy Lamar. I'll say you know like Lucy when she when Lu when Hedy Lamar walks in the room, it's like Hedy Lamar. It's like Winston <laughs> Wake's character on SNL who gets so excited like she like, runs through walls. That's what I feel like playing Lucy every time I get hysterical because like oh my god. I'm gonna, just in case I see you fixing, I'm gonna run up. Yeah, I'm in a different okay. place, I need someone to hold on. Ooh, girl, Iggy, you better stop. That's copyright, girl. Copyright, she don't know about that copyright. Did you guys enjoy the event? Have any of you guys seen Timeless on NBC? I watched a few episodes of the first season when it was out, um, but it just, I couldn't record it, and my Mondays were super busy. But I, pl I plan on watching it again, and I actually want to watch it with Deanna. Because she said she wants to learn about history. I said, you know about Benjamin Franklin? Because she loves Benjamin Franklin. So I'm like, it's not really about men in our history. But um, I'm like, female women invent a lot of great things too. And she's like, oh. so I'm going to see if I have time later on today to watch it. But let me know in the comments below if you guys ever watched it or you guys are even interested in watching it. It's really, really... <laughs> I can't think of the word. Delightfully educational. There we go. And if you're wondering how I was able to bathe with Gunner still up, I trust him. Coming of the day, coming of the day, coming of the day! Buddha. ¿Qué tienes en tu boca? Oh, sanadoria? Carrots? Mm. You tell the amigos your mantra? I am... Uh...
Everything you say alphabetical order by your Okay, mother. if you can't say in alphabetical order, it's fine. Okay. I'm strong. I'm kind. I'm strong. I'm wise. You, you said I am strong twice. I am brave. I'm brave. I'm strong. I'm kind. I'm wise. Thank you, guys. And you are loved. Ah. Right? Because if nobody, if you don't love yourself, what? No one will love you. Yeah, girl. And it's always good to be kind, help others, mm -hmm. be brave. Like, like, like every day I see I'm a, a girl that has no food and she lives outside and she doesn't have a home. Mm -hmm. so, so we give food to her. Because she doesn't have no food, like I just said. Yeah. When we're walking by the train. Yeah, when we see somebody, that, like one of the ladies that we always see, we buy her food or we give her your food, right? Or my food or daddy's yeah. food. Yeah. She, 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 she should buy a home because every day I see houses that says for sale, for sale, for sale. Everything says for sale. There's a lot of houses on sale, so you think yeah. she should buy a home? Yeah. But baby, she doesn't have money. That's why she lives on the streets. That's why we have to be kind. Brave. You have to be brave, right? Mm -hmm. You didn't want to swim back then, but you were brave. You said, I am strong. I can do this. And you did it. Mm -hmm. And I can beat zombies up. <laughs> Just to let you know. Just to let you know. Are you, are you happy being a girl? Are you proud being a woman? Or well, one day a woman, but you're a girl? Are you proud? Yeah. Woo! <laughs> Sometimes it sucks being a woman. I hate being a woman. Sometimes. Not all the time. It's just... It's it's difficult being a human, period. You know, you deal with a lot of emotions and a lot of ups and downs and trials and tribulations. And what you always have to remember is to fight through it. Get those negative thoughts out of there. Say those negative thoughts out loud. Like I'm feeling sad right now because I don't have the job I want. Say it out loud. Don't keep it in. And once you recognize the negativity. It's going to be easier for you to work on it. It's okay to feel sad. You have to feel sad in order to move on. I want to empower Ziana to be a strong girl, a strong woman one day. And we're all going to have negative thoughts. And it's okay. Just get rid of it. Dust it off your shoulders because you are strong. You are wise. You are brave. You are loved. And if you repeat a mantra, you're mo like that mantra I think is great. Find the mantra that's for you. Like, I, what my mantra is, I am filled with love and love for others. I think many times we forget that we should love one another. It doesn't matter who you are, what color you are, what religion or any of that. Inside, we all have a heart. It's the same color unless, you know, you smoke and stuff like that. I think that affects your heart color. We are all deserving of love and you have to love yourself first okay so i think i was talking about three different topics there but that's how my mind works at gemini like we're always just thinking about different things all at once and that's what messes me up sometimes but yeah let me know in the comments below do you guys have a mantra what it is let me know are you guys ready yeah. for what's about to come like, what What's in the bag? Tell me what you're snacking on. Tell me what oh, you're snacking I'm gonna, on. I'm gonna eat it right now and see. You know, what, what, what's the rules, girl? You're gonna need to sit that boo down, girl. Sit that boo the, down. The rules is touch it and look at it. Espera. Espera. Cierra los ojos. Espera. Ready? Big Gunner doesn't miss Smell it. Smells uh, like it sweet potato. Ew, oh, really? It smells like wet dog dad. <laughs> mm. 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 Sweet potato. Tomates. Tomatoes. A little bit of wet dog. No, Salt. Wet dog. And Ziana's oh, feet. Yeah. Alright, alright. Close. What is that? It's just Ziana's feet. Ew. <laughs> well, they taste scrumptious. And it's just Bessie's feet, too. Oh, yeah? Uh -huh. mm. Oh, I love kettle corn. Kettle, love kettle corn. Oh, kettle. It's the same thing. Mm. Kettle unprotected, real vegetable I, I like, chips. I like, wow. I like eating a bird. 
Wow, it really yeah, is. It really is. It's really your, crunchy. I like eating your foot, Mom. You like eating my feet? Uh-huh. Great. Thank you so much for watching, Mis Amigos. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And definitely comment below. It will help us on YouTube. And until next time, adios! adios.